Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to Go Math Lesson 1.4 Algebra Powers of 10 and Exponents. Write the lesson number and title in your math notebook. Today's lesson objective is use an exponent to show powers of 10. Please write the lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's lesson vocabulary is base. Base is a number used as a repeated factor. Example, 8 to the third power equals 8 times 8 times 8. The base is 8. Exponent. Exponent is a number that shows how many times the base is used as a factor. Example, 10 to the third power equals 10 times 10 times 10. 3 is the exponent. Please write both of these vocabulary words and the examples in your math notebook. You don't need to write the pronunciation or the Spanish word in your math notebook or the page number where it's found in your book. You can skip that. But you do need to write everything else. Now we'll be going to page 17 in your Go Math book, lesson 1.4. At the top of the page is our essential question, how can you use an exponent to show powers of 10? We're going to read the Unlock the Problem. Expressions with repeated factors such as 10 times 10 times 10 can be written by using a base with an exponent. The base is the number that is used as the repeated factor. The exponent is the number that tells how many times the base is used as a factor. So again, we have an example of that. 10 times 10 times 10 has three factors. So the base is 10 and the exponent is 3. And that equals 1,000. The word form of that is the third power of 10 or sometimes we say 10 to the third power. Exponent form is 10 with a 3 that's raised. Our activity, we're going to do this together. And if we were doing this in the classroom, we might have some base 10 blocks out. But you can look at the pictures of the base 10 blocks and see how this works out. So if we have one tiny block, it counts as a 1, so that is 10 to the 0. And if we have one stick of blocks, that's 10 blocks, so that's 1 times 10, which is 10 to the first power. If we have a flat, that's 100 ones, which is 1 times 10 times 10, so that's 10 to the second power. And if we have a cube of blocks, then that's 1,000 ones, which is 1 times 10 times 10 times 10, or 10 to the third power. So let's fill in these answers here. How many ones are in 1? I think we all know that that's 1. And how many ones are in 10? There are 10 ones in 10. How many tens are in 100? There are 10 tens in 100. So if you think about that, it's 10 groups of 10 or 10 times 10. How many hundreds are in 1,000? And that is also 10. Because 10 groups of 100, that's 10 groups of 100 or 10 times 10 times 10. How many thousands are in 10,000? And that is also a 10. So in the box at the right, we are going to draw a quick picture to show 10,000. So it says use a T for 1,000. So if we draw boxes, this is hard to do on the iPad, but we'll do it. So that's a thousand. 
and that's a thousand, so that's two thousand. So we're going to draw ten of these boxes. You need to be sure you are doing this on your page in your book. That's five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, and ten thousand. So ten thousand ones is 1 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 so that's 10 to the fourth power so 10 times 1000 is 10 to the fourth power so now let's move on to the example on page 18. It says multiply a whole number by a power of 10. Hummingbirds beat their wings very fast. The smaller the hummingbird is, the faster its wings beat. The average hummingbird beats its wings about 3 times 10 to the third times a minute. How many times a minute is that written as a whole number? Multiply 3 by powers of 10 and look for a pattern. So 3 times 10 to the 0 equals 3 times 1. So remember from the last page that 1 it equals 10 to the 0 power. So 3 times 1 equals 3. And 3 times 10 to the first power equals 3 times 10 which equals 30 and 3 times 10 to the second power equals 3 times 10 times 10 which equals 300 and 3 times 10 to the third power equals 3 times 10 times 10 times 10 which equals 3000 so the average hummingbird beats its wings about 3000 times a minute. Oh, I bet its little wings get tired after a while. So it says, for a math talk, it says, explain how using an exponent simplifies an expression. So how does that make it simpler to write? And then this part is part of your assignment for tonight. It says, what pattern do you see? So looking at our example up here, you need to write a sentence or two about what pattern you see. So that is part of your assignment, part of your grade, and also the exit slip is part of your grade. So be sure you come to school with this part completed. What pattern do you see as you look at this example? Need to return to your teacher's web page and you need to complete the exit slip because this is how you get credit for viewing the lesson. Have a nice evening and we will see you tomorrow.